All right, we're back with more Fallout New Vegas. So, last time I remember, I was talking to this lady. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. See what she's got to say. Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Well. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Um, they were having being a nice guy. Argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where are they headed, Sheriff? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Oh, highways. Can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. Ah, uh, they're that the cracking. Far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few. Kind of a boring start to this video, huh? The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. All right, peace out. You ain't got nothing out there. decent to tell me. Where am I headed? Going out the door, Sheriff. Okay, and I have successfully installed this game, so hopefully it cuts down on these loading screens. Hopefully, because watching loading screens is so much fun, kids. Okay, so let's see what this gun table do does. Ooh. Let's see what else is there. Oh, achievement unlocked. Crafty. Crafted 20 items. That is... That is how a G gets it done. Oh, there's in-game, uh... Achievement tracking. Okay, so what's the whole plan here? I gotta go there to... Offer to help Ringo deal with the powder fighters. Okay, I'll do that. Let's do it! Ringo! Coming to see you, Ringo Star. Don't think I'm supposed to come in here. What is in here? Ammo box. Oh, I can't take it because I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Why am I a good boy? Where is this character hiding? He's up here. Sorry for whoever's home I broke into. 100% accidental, I promise. Sunset Sastrilla, that's a new Nuka Cola. It's like Nuka Cola, but more sunsetty. It's like I have the sun in the palm of my hand. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Hey. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. So, when Got somebody... Bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? So when somebody points a gun at you... Uh, all you gotta say is, I'm, I'm, I'm good, and he'll stop. And the winner takes the whole pot. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. 
It's why you won't see Caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. Oh, I thank you. So, you feel like playing a game? Uh Fine, let's do it. Don't worry. I'm not that good of a player. Still holding the gun. Hmm. I'll auto match just so I don't uh go bankrupt. Christ, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. What is going on? Alright, let's... He put it on Ace, that's kind of leading me to believe I should, but I'll just do that! Jesus Christ. I'll match you. Why can't I put that down? What just happened? This game is nonsense. Done with that. You're a douchebag. What else you got in here? You douche douchebag. Open your sack. Let me look in your sock. What is it? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. Hmm. I'll give you a hand. As long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. Yo, I don't share graves. My grave is my own. Start with Sunny Smile. She's been friendlier than most around here. She taught me how to pick flowers. Thanks to Sunny, I am now a level five expert flower picker. Thank you, Sunny. Couldn't have done it without you. Why are you looking so emo? Cheer up, emo kid. Baseball. You know what, I'll take that baseball. Hopefully I get like a house or some kind of storage soon. I think this is where she's going to be chill chilling. Poseidon energy. Energy from a god that Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, probably. Say no more. I'm in. Oh, well, that was easy. Maybe we can have a drink later or something. 
Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know it's tight. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. All right, boss. Crazy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. All right, um, um, um. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. What a douchebag. Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Sounds like a tutorial to me. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. Don't know why I need a roller coaster. Good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. And last but not least, I guess. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. I cracked it already. Beast. I'm a beast. Oh. Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I'll be waiting. Hmm. So Trudy, I believe, is this lady. Are you Trudy? So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I get my shit to 25. All the more reason for me to sit this one out. All the more reason for me to sit this one out. Oh, man. All right, here we get my speech up. Homie's gotta go level up. Hey, hey what's going on, Shane? Easy P. Hey, I need to talk to you. What can Easy Pete do for you? Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too dangerous. Sorry. Oh, man. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of So this might be a quest that I have to lead up to. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. That'll probably be something I have to lead up to. Let's go check out contestant number next. I think that's where it wants me to go. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. Thanks. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Now just hold on. I never voted to take...